Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share some tips with you on how to go about promoting yourself as an artist on social media. It's a great platform to make use of and I hope that through some of these tips you can find yourself a bigger audience for your artwork. Hope you find this helpful and if you like my videos please do subscribe here on YouTube and also check me out over on Patreon for my full length tutorials and lots more. We all have to agree that social media is a brilliant place to promote all sorts of businesses, but none more so than the visual artist. We've got so much material that we can post up that really catches the viewer's attention. So the first thing I want to talk about when you're just getting started up and you want to start up a Facebook page or an Instagram page for your artwork, it's good branding. When I was choosing the name for my page, I went with Emma Colbert Art to leave myself open that I can evolve as an artist. When I first started out, I was under the name uh, Pitter Patter Portraits, and I very quickly realized that I may not want to paint just portraits my whole life, so that was going to be quite a limiting name for me. So the first thing to tackle is your name, and my advice is to try and choose something that leaves you open to evolve later on as an artist, as you just don't know what direction you might go in later years. Another aspect of your branding, of course, is how your page looks overall. So is it attractive? Does it grab people's attention? So just as if you were uh, designing your website, you want your social media platforms to also look attractive. And even though those sites don't allow you to edit very much in the overall look of the site, you've always got your profile picture, um, banner images, all of that that you can put your design efforts into to improve the overall look of your page. And that leads me on to your artwork which you might post up. Always make sure that you've got high quality JPEG images of your artwork which will show the true colours and really show the quality of your work. But then, of course, be careful to only post that work in a slightly lower resolution. I always post my work up in 70 dpi for online viewing. It just ensures that no one can steal your artwork from the internet and make high quality prints. Anyone stealing my stuff from the internet isn't going to be able to make a very high quality version of it. You can also watermark your images if you prefer to add an extra layer of copyright protection. But any social media page that you have should really be treated like a good portfolio for other people to come and see what you can do. Number two, try to post regularly. This is really important. It seems to build up the algorithms on social media if you're constantly on there making regular contributions to your page. If you go away and leave it for weeks on end, you're going to find those numbers drop and fall and the amount of people who can see your content will also drop. So the more regular you can be with it, the better. Um, my advice is to try and post something every day or every other day. Uh, try and choose a time of the day when you know that most of your audience are online. There's no point in posting something at three o'clock in the morning if most people who are interested in your work are already in bed. So try and think of it from that point of view as well. What time would be best to post at? The more work you create, obviously, the easier it is to create posts for social media. But the main thing to remember above all of this is that you still got plenty of time for that creative part, your artwork. My third tip is ongoing interaction. And what I mean by that is when people do come and comment or like your artwork, be sure to interact with them, reply to their questions. Uh, the more you do that, the more people will actually see your post. So many of us are aware these days how the algorithms on sites like this actually work. So the more interaction that there is on a post, the further that post will go. So maybe you can include your followers, give them a little bit of behind the scenes in your process, in your studio, anything you can share with people. I think people have always really liked seeing the provenance of artwork, so where it comes from, the history behind it, the, the process behind it. 
So the more of that sort of thing you can post, I think the more interested people will be. Tip number four, network. So make use of those social media platforms to find other groups of like-minded artists or people in search of art. But I know for myself, I went in search of lots of uh, Facebook groups, for example, who have pastel artists and only pastel artists. And I post my work on all of those pages where I'm allowed. I post links to either my website or to a YouTube video and I promote myself that way where I'm allowed to post links to my external sites then I do. You always need to be careful when you're posting in a group that you read all of their rules and make sure that you comply with them. But a lot of these groups are set up by individuals who have a love for art and the groups are a spectacular way to link up with other artists, find out about exhibitions, online competitions, so much information to be gained from your network of other artists. Not to mention the fact that it's just lovely to chat and interact with people doing the same type of work. Most of us are closed away by ourselves, sometimes talking to a camera, but it's really nice to interact with people who are experiencing the same work life as you. And number five tip shout about it. So if you're doing something that you want lots of people to know about, you really have to shout from the rooftops. No one else is going to promote this for you. It's just up to you and the good word of mouth that will hopefully already be coming from the first bits of work that you've done. But the main thing you have to do, even if you're a shy, close yourself away in a room and paint all day type of person, you still got to get out there and shout about it. Every person you meet, you tell them about it. If you've got a card with your social media or your website on it, hand that out everywhere that you get an opportunity. Get your friends and your family to like and share your page. So don't be shy about telling other people about your links. People are usually really interested and keen to go and see what you do. So I've given you a few tips there on how to more successfully promote yourself on social media. But all of those tips actually create quite a lot of extra work for you. So I just wanted to mention some of the downsides and some of the pressures that we get to feel these days because of social media, as I think that's really important too. So I've been on Facebook for about 10 years. My page still isn't enormous. I have just creeping up on 10,000 followers on there. And that's taken me quite a long time to build up, but I've been happy to let it just grow gradually and organically. And each time I get some new fans, they tend to stick around and they interact with my posts. So letting a thing grow slowly, there's nothing wrong with that. If you decide to do a Facebook post, an Instagram post, a Twitter post, uh, post your work on some art pages, if you do that every day, after 10 years or so, it's going to take its toll, I know for a fact. And it's difficult to keep up with that constantly. It felt uh, really good in the beginning because things were just taking off. But eventually, these things do become a bit of a chore when you've been doing them for a long time. So how do I avoid that? Well, I have to make sure that I still have a life outside of the online world which isn't always easy as each time you log off, you know that there are other things you could be doing to promote yourself. And I know that my pages could be growing even faster if I did more, but I'm just one person and there's only so much that I can do. And even in a world where you see everyone else posting constantly, you just have to remember to take a break sometimes and to not put too much pressure on yourself. The most exciting thing about social media is the fact that we as artists can now create our own careers. We've never had a better set of tools to promote ourselves. But I think a little bit of caution is advisable for long-term sanity. I hope that you've enjoyed this short video and that you find some of the tips helpful. Just remember, it's the best age we've ever lived in for promoting ourselves in the arts. Make use of it. And until next time, happy pastling.